Can you provide tips for writing a strong and effective conclusion? Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a critical aspect of writing, crafting strong and effective conclusions. A well-written conclusion has the power to impress, influence, and inspire your readers, so let's find out how you can create powerful endings to your writings. Why are conclusions important? Conclusions are like the final chord in a song. They need to resonate with everything that came before, while also providing a sense of closure. If your conclusion is weak, your entire piece might feel incomplete or unsatisfactory, even if the rest of your writing is solid. What makes a strong conclusion? A strong conclusion should achieve three main objectives. 1. Reinforce the main ideas. It should briefly recap the main points or arguments you've discussed throughout your piece. 2. Synthesize, don't summarize. Good conclusions go beyond just summarizing. They synthesize the information, tying all the threads of your discussion together in a cohesive way. 3. Leave a lasting impression. Whether it's a call to action, a provocative question, or a forward-looking statement, your conclusion should leave your readers with something to think about after they've finished reading. How to write an effective conclusion Here are some practical steps you can take. 1. Restate your thesis or main argument, but do it in a way that takes into account the evidence or points you've presented throughout your writing. 2. Summarize your main points. But remember, this is more about synthesis than summarizing. Try to show how your points fit together and support your main argument. 3. End with a strong closing statement. This could be a call to action, a question, a prediction, or a recommendation. Whatever it is, it should encourage your reader to engage further with the topic. What are some common mistakes to avoid? There are a few pitfalls to avoid when crafting your conclusion. 1. Introducing new ideas or arguments. Your conclusion is for wrapping up, not for presenting new information. 2. Repeating your introduction. While your conclusion should echo your introduction, it should not repeat it verbatim. 3. Being too vague or generic. Your conclusion should be specific to the content and arguments of your piece. And there you have it. Keep these tips in mind and you'll be on your way to crafting strong, effective conclusions that reinforce your main ideas, synthesize your arguments, and leave a lasting impression on your readers. Remember, the final words of your writing piece can be its most influential, so make them count. Happy writing, everyone!